four, three. Good evening, class. My name is Larry. A friend once asked me when I find time to sleep. I just smiled and pointed the tattoo on my arm. It says, rest when you die. It's just something that, it's something that my dad said to me before a race, and it just seemed to stick. Thank you. Every time I lace up my running shoes, every time I approach the finish line, every time I wake up, I'm thinking. But when you wake up, how do you feel? Do you feel like it's just another day to be lived until it's time to sleep and do it all over again? Or do you feel like when you wake up, you're ready to make this day better than the one before it? In the movie Dead Poets Society, Mr. Keating teaches his students the phrase carpe diem, which means to seize the day. When I hear the term carpe diem, it means getting up and doing something active that is healthy and positive for the body. For me, I used to run long distances, 10Ks, 5Ks, and even a marathon. Now I spend my days filming a video every day for the whole year, riding my bike as often as possible, and occasionally building something. But why do I feel the need to do these things? It varies, but the one thing that drives me to do this and live this life can be summed up in one word, immortality. It is the idea of living forever in the eyes of those who live after I am gone. What stories will they tell? Be they have good or evil actions, I suppose it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that the stories will be told and not forgotten. I remain active to sustain a long and healthy life. I believe that spending as much time on this planet with people I care about is more important than time spent alone or napping somewhere. If I stay in good health, I can live longer. According to everydayhealth.com, a healthy lifestyle right now can mean a longer, higher quality life in the long run. This means eating right and exercising daily. But I know most of you are probably thinking, I can't jog, I don't have a bike, and most of all, I don't have time. Yes, we are pressed for time once in a while, but what is stopping you from turning right when you leave this class to use the stairs, rather than turning left to use the elevator? AliniCounty.us states that walking daily can decrease the risk of heart attacks and help control weight while improving muscle tone. That's just by walking. Walking is actually an activity that can be done by anyone at almost any age and any weight. So let's say you made the decision to be more active. It's tough and your body's going to be sore. Some will ask, why I keep going? Why I keep doing this to my body? To be satisfied. Satisfied that you're improving your life and living each day for more than what it is worth. You can wake up knowing that today is going to be a challenge that you can't complete. When you lay your head down to prepare for the next day, you feel good knowing that you can do it all again tomorrow. An article from Daily, Mass, from Daily Mail states that people who exercise on work days are happier, suffer less stress, and are more productive. So they're happier, more productive, and have less stress in their lives. Why are there still those who ask why? Imagine it's fall, the leaves are changing, and you're ready to start anew. The weather's gonna be just right for getting back into shape and becoming healthy. Imagine yourself tying up your sneakers and stepping out the front door. That's the first step, getting up and doing it. You walk down the street and look to the next block and decide to go a little bit further. You get to the next block and decide just one more won't hurt. You turn around and already you feel great that you've just gone for a small walk and you've worked up a bit of a sweat. So it's time to head home. Worked up a sweat, ready to relax, and take a shower. What's so difficult about going for a walk? It's easy, it's healthy, and in the end you will feel great about yourself. But what about the moments leading up to that first step? Go to a local sports shop, buy a new pair of sneakers, buy some workout gear, and just by picking up a few new things before working out, it can help motivate you to put the gear on and go out just once. And that's all it takes. Getting up one time to go outside to go for a walk is the gateway to an active lifestyle. And as we know, an active lifestyle does lead to a longer life. Once you've made the choice to be more active, what will you do with all the time you have left on this planet? Will you hike through the Upper Peninsula with some friends? Take a motorcycle trip through the mountains, or persuade an entire class to turn right and use the stairs just one time. To conclude, I will pull a quote from my favorite poet, Walt Whitman, from his poem, O Me, O Life. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? Thank you.